Okay, so not the best start with the death, but, you know, eh, whatever. Didn't find any more glowstone. Did find a magma cream, um, you know, and got some other stuff in there. So, no more death, so that's at least decent. So, not terrible overall, and we can keep going with our projects. So, definitely going to need some kind of a wired charger from Ender.io, so we can charge our building tools. So, let's put that on the list too. Okay, so we'll need industrial machine chassis with eight of these electrical steel ingots. Electrical steel is going to be steel and silicon. Iron, coal, and silicon. Silicon comes from a sag mill with sand. So let's see what kind of sand we have. Got very little sand, but we'll get more. Okay, sag mill, do your thing. Oh, do, do I need a flint? Probably not very much if we do. Yeah, half a stack. I don't think I'm going to use it for that right now. But we will sag mill this up. Uh, about half of it should get me silicone. There it goes. So we'll work on getting that. And, wow, I need some place to put all this junk. Alright, I'm going to make a second old chest real quick. Let's make another crate. There we go, another little crate. We'll just stick it over here and put other stuff in there for now. So, what about that simple wired charger? We need some coal powder. Do we have any of that? Was it coal dust? Is that what we have? Here's some. That combines with iron to make steel, and the silicon gets its electrical steel. Okay. If you stick the iron and the coal dust in there first, it will start making steel immediately, so you want to be careful when you're doing that. I'm going to put this in alloys only mode right now. Okay. So I'm going to put silicon in there first, then I'll do that. And this is kind of slow, but we will speed up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So that'll help us get our little wired charger. And then we need to get this other thing here, the experience obelisk. That was gonna require that soul attuned die. So we get some more quartz crushed up. So let me get uh, at least three more quartz. Sag mill the quartz up. And we're gonna need, what else do we need? Soul powder, which is going to require that. We're going to need gold with soul sand to get solarium. Alright, got plenty of dust now. There's this. So, let's go ahead, let's try eight solarium for now. Don't know how much we're going to need, but We'll start with eight and see where it goes. Okay, I've got my stuff to make the wired charger. Wait, no I don't. I need one of those machine chassis. I'm out of iron bars, really? Okay. Well, I guess I made four machines, didn't I? Alright, I've got iron on me, so let's turn those into iron bars. Turn that into a machine chassis. Get me that green dye stuff. Industrial dye. There it is. Are you done? So that's taking care of my chassis. So I guess we'll just put him in the front for now. 
Yeah. Definitely need to move out of this room and get somewhere else. Okay. So, uh, organic brown dye is going to be those twigs and prunings with a slime ball. So I need 12, oh, I need 12 twigs and prunings. Okay, I'm going to need to stack on more dead bushes. Where are my dead bushes? There they are. Okay, so let's sag mill those guys up. There's my solarium. I need at least two of those to be soul powder. Alright. Can now make my wired charger. Alright. Can I just put you right here? Will that work? Not without a capacitor, it won't. Okay. No copper, not enough gold nuggets. Ah, oh, I've burned to death. That was sad. Harvesting the quartz, though, got me a lot more experience. So, you know, I'm not back where I was, but, you know, closer to where I was. So, uh, we've made this. We're making a capacitor now. There we go. Now, okay, yes, you will do that. Which means we can start charging up. Oh, I haven't built it yet. Well, let's build the building gadget. So, just need some iron and diamond and stuff. Needs half a million RF, so, you know. Uh, we're going to need more fuel, but we'll work on that. Okay, I see. I guess we'll stick this entire thing of charcoal over here. Yeah, alright. Okay, there's some more twigs and prunings. So that should get me enough to make that solitude powder. I need 12 of those and two, or one slime ball. And that should get me the dye I need. All right, got that charged up. So let's just really kill the power. We'll use, we'll make construction gadget. I turned a lot of my redstone into redstone blocks to save space in my inventory. But I still have redstone. Okay, and same goes for lapis. Okay, there we go. A destruction gadget. Let's chuck you in there. That's going to end my... It's going to end all of my power, I'm sure, but, you know, we'll let it charge and take care of that. Alright, so can we make that Solitune dye blend now? No, I didn't get the soul powder. We need to, we need to crush up two of the solarium. Did we do that? No, we just... Okay, now can we make the Solitune powder or dye blend? Yes, there we go. So, we need another one of those machine chassis. No more iron, huh? Okay. Okay, this plus you will get me a Solitune chassis. There we go. We're going to need one of those fluid tanks, which is going to require a bucket, probably. Oh, yeah, we need an energetic ally. I think we need four of these guys. Gold, glowstone, and redstone. Eight, eight, and where's my glowstone? Did I chuck it over here? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's working on that. Gonna work on this tank now. Alright. 
We're missing just these things now. Okay. So that's what? One, two, three, four, and three of those. Yeah, I think uh yeah, I think we're actually done. There we go. Experience rod. And the experience obelisk. So we have some place to store our experience now. So if you haven't seen one of these before, it's really cool. Right click and you can dump all your XP in here and you can get it back one level at a time or 10 or all of it, you know. And you can pipe it out into tanks. So uh, in my opinion, this is the best solution to experience management in any of the mods. Um, just my two cents, of course. All right. Uh, oh yeah, you're, you're gonna be here for a while. All right, why don't we get you an upgrade? Let's get you uh, a hardened upgrade. That sounds good. Then we'll get you some, maybe some augments of some kind. Yeah, so how do we make one of those? We're gonna need some invar and some bronze and some redstone. Do we have bronze and invar and redstone? Here's some invar. And here's some bronze. Okay. And now we can make this guy. So this should make him... Okay, you're putting 60 arc per tick now. That's better. I won't get any more RF out of this, but I'll get I'll get uh, faster power generation, so that's a little bit helpful. Okay, so yes, I know you're out of power. What else can we do for them? What are the augments we have options for? Okay, dynamos, increased output, and a fuel catalyzer. So I can either save my fuel or get things faster. Hmm. Well, right now we're critically low on coal and charcoal. So why don't we build a fuel catalyzer? We would need a lead and a conductance coil. So we're going to need some electrum. That's silver and gold. So we'll get four of you, and you're not silver. Four of you. You are off so four and four should get us an electrum yeah there we go just needed one I think okay um, now I can make that fuel catalyzer I think I didn't grab any lead so can't do that yet Where's the lead? Um, there we go. There we go, a fuel catalyzer. So now he will still do 60 RF per tick, but we will get more fuel out of this guy now. So yeah, so whatever. He's about halfway charged. Uh, so I need to make that exchanging gadget too and charge him. So let's make one of those guys. All right. We can build the golden lassos while we're waiting, I guess. So let's see here. Golden lasso requires string and nuggets, and it requires eight levels of experience. So now I can feel better about not wasting my XP. I'm gonna make two of these guys. See, I only had 21 levels, but taking away eight and eight, I still have 17 in here. So I definitely think this would have wasted XP if I hadn't done it like this. All right, so there's my golden lasso. I do wanna make a farm, uh, at least a cow farm. You know, get some better food going on and whatnot. We need to get some more charcoal as well. 
All right, so I'm gonna go harvest some things, get some charcoal, get some more, get this stabilized, get my machines, and then we'll come back and make a flux capacitor. Let's see here, we can make a basic one or a hardened one. Well, given our power situation, I guess we'll make a basic one for now. If they can be upgraded, so we'll just do that for now. Requires sulfur, copper, lead, and redstone. Do I have any sulfur? Yeah, I got it from... I think... Sagmilling something. Alright, gadgets are charged up, so let's go ahead and build a flux capacitor now. So we're going to need some leadstone, or lead, redstone, copper, and lead. There we go, a flux capacitor, which also needs charged up. So, this has, can store a million RF, so, you know, we're going to drain it all again, but, eh, we'll get more. At some point, we will have infinite resources. I don't know when that point will be, it's going to be a while, but uh, we will get there. How are you doing? You've got two more blocks of copper. Alright, so I will wait for that to go. I'm going to go uh, dig for more copper and stuff while I wait for this to charge. And when we come back, we'll see how those gadgets work. Alright, so I finally got my flux capacitor charged. I've got everything else charged. So let's go see how these building gadgets work because i got to say, they are one of my favorite new mods. Maybe my absolute favorite. So flux capacitor... Uh, we can press V to change what it's doing, so we can charge equipment or inventory or items or whatever. So I'm just going to put it on all items. Shift right click to activate, and you can put it in a bobble. Any slot works. So we'll just take it somewhere for now. Uh, and let's go see how these building gadgets work out as soon as I sweep through the night. Okay, so one of the really nice features of these building gadgets is that it can fill in little holes. And I just love that feature. So where's my dank null? Let's set that to dirt. Choose dirt. Shift right click the dirt. Hold G to go down. I want to go surface. Put range 3. And basically, oh, I want to also put fuzzy mode on there and it can just fill in little places like that so if I want this to be on this level it's really easy to do that with the building gadget great for filling in creeper holes now let's say I wanted uh, you know the terrain to be a little bit more flat over here that's where the junction gadget comes in so let's say I sh right click, shift right click on this block to open up the GUI. So let's go out to a depth of five. We'll go left two from where I'm looking and right two from where I'm looking and then we'll go up, let's say 10. Now it highlights what it's gonna do. So when I right click, it's gonna destroy all these blocks. And I've got some nice flat terrain to play around with, which is handy because that's what I want to build my new house and you know have some space around so like I said I want it on Y at level 664 why I, I don't know that's just what I like it's right at sea level it's the standard Y level the default so you know it doesn't matter it just I have a preference for it so I'm gonna go uh, clear out some space and I think I will make a house over here. And when I'm done, actually, let me show you the exchanging gadget too. So let's say we uh, shift right click this and I can right click to change a block out and it will swap the blocks for me. And again, I can hit G, change the range and I can swap all of these. It will break the block, so I'm going to get cobblestone, not stone, unless you give it a silk touch upgrade. But, uh, you know, I can make these things look, look how I want, and it's just a really easy way to do that. So I know there are other exchangers. Thomcraft had the original one, I think, and then, you know, there's gadgets and other things that do this. But uh, in my opinion, Direwolf 
he made the best one. This is absolutely the best version of this. So, okay, I'm going to go clear out some terrain for my new house and figure out what I'm going to make it out of. Probably going to want to get a chisel as well. So that's the wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you feel like it, like and subscribe. Or don't, no pressure. See you next time.